Hey everybody, Judy Seeger here from judyseegerdetox.com. So glad to have you on. I'm starting out the day, 8 o'clock in the morning to here in Florida to get your um, detox tip in early. And we're going to have another one later in the day, um, depending on the storm, right? So if any of you have been following the news, you know that down here in Florida, we're going to be um, experiencing a hurricane of big magnitude, which they haven't had for a long time. Hey, Linda, glad to have you on. And so um, I wanted to talk about that because it's a great analogy in our healing process. I mean, it's amazing what people go through in circumstances. And this is a perfect example of what I've been saying all along, right? Hey, good morning, Linda. Um, where are you anyway? Just write me down, write it down for me where um, you are in the world. I'm here in Florida. Hey, Jeanette, glad to have you on. So just to show you guys quick, um, this calm before the storm, I'm going to take you guys out here to my front and you could see, can you see the beautiful, um, let me put out a tilt here. You see the beautiful clouds, right? It's like, seriously, it's like the calm before the storm, right? This is happening here. I'm taking you with me. Oh, you're in Texas. Oh, there's storms over there. That's for sure. All right. So here's the tip for today that you need to understand. Let me put the camera so you could see my sunlight coming. I face my desk. So it's coming out. Uh, I could see the, the great sun and the beautiful Florida day. So Here's the tip that you want to understand because during a hurricane or storms or whether it's tornadoes or anything. Hey, England, Eileen, glad to have you on. Love to have you guys on. Thank you. Um, hurricanes and storms and whatnot um, really brings out different parts of us and it shows a lot about where you are in your healing process. So let me explain. Right now with the hurricane, um, going on and the governor just announced yesterday a state of emergency it hasn't even hit here yet <laughs> and he's already claiming this there which of course has put people in massive panic uh I, I didn't go out yesterday because i was literally working uh 15 hours a day to get this completed for you and so i didn't go out at all normally i even go to the gym i didn't do any of that so i just had a lot of friends saying hey um, do you need any what you know we all help each other so they said you need water because water is flying off the shelves um, gasoline lines are insane already and that was yesterday that was Tuesday right today is Wednesday and so people are just going absolutely crazy bonkers worried and afraid about a storm that hasn't happened in 10 years um, it's very interesting I was sitting here thinking about that this morning um, because we were asking me are you worried and all that I'm like mm, no <laughs> I'm far beyond worrying about storms and I have um, friends who are from the islands any of my friends who are islanders uh, from Puerto Rico Cuba um, Haiti Dominican Republic whatever uh, I've been on a lot of your islands and you guys all tell me the same thing where do you really go you go from one end of the island to the other but basically you're on this island and so you just get this island mentality and I got thinking about that and that's really what it's all about in the healing journey as well you have to get this mentality that we are going to be hit by a lot of different things in our lives whether it's a physical storm whether it's in a relationship whether it's something that happens in our work in the city that we live it doesn't matter we're all going to be hit by some kind of issue that we need to deal with and so many times we succumb and we we get and I, i'm certainly i believe it, <laughs> i'm certainly one of those that sometimes it just gets to me and I get worried and I don't sleep well and yeah but I have learned over time that when that happens and I start feeling I just use myself an example who else am I gonna use just me <laughs> I know myself the best when um, I first started this journey and I was getting hit with all this stuff I got very very sick because when I was worried about things I was angry about stuff you guys know I shared my story yesterday that I really struggled and I, as a result I didn't sleep well I was sick all the time because it changes your pH it is now scientifically proven that when your body is uh, under a lot a lot of stress it just wears down the immune system because it changes the body's pH from uh, at neutral which is supposed to be about 7.2 or 3 and it goes into an acid state not a good thing sometimes it actually could go to a way alkaline state but that's more rare but it does go into an acid state nine times out of 10 and that really messes up your immune system 
and your body's ability to fight disease. So um, as I was learning all this stuff and understanding it, I was like, man, I got to get my body more balanced. And what I did then as I walked through my healing process, and then I taught this in the clinic as well so that I knew it worked on me, let me go work on other people. And the bottom line was that the people that then applied what I learned got the same results. Hey, Susan, glad to have you on. So what did I learn and what I want to share with you? When there are storms in your life, whether it's a Hurricane Matthew or whether there are things that you're going through right now, and it could be anything right now or in the past, you need to just take a step back. That's the biggest thing I think I learned um, in this whole process. Oh, thanks for the hearts. I always appreciate hearts. It's a great way to start the day. Thank you. Um, I would take a step back and I would sit there and I said, okay, what am I grateful for at this moment? And sometimes there wasn't much. I mean, sometimes it was the financial issues. Usually that's what it was. Hey, Linda, glad to have you on. Um, sometimes it was a financial issue. Sometimes it was um, things with my family. Sometimes it was things with myself. But I took a step back and I just said, what is it that I need to assess right now? So, for example, right now, the hurricane issue. Well, you have lots of options. You can stay put. That's easy. <laughs> and weather the storm. You could go to a friend's house who you might feel is a little bit safer. You could stock up and, and lots of people are doing that, getting their water and all that. But the issue was never allow the fear of the storm to take you down. Okay, that is your word for the day, your word of wisdom from Judy. Um, I don't know how wise it is. It's just from my experience. Don't let the, the fears bring you down, right? So bottom line is, it's hard to do when you're in the middle of it. So right now, the storm is coming. Matthew is on its way. We know it's on its way. Thanks to technology, we see that it's on its way. But we don't have to allow that fear to come in. So especially for those of you who have cancer, I, mean, I hear this all the time. The doctor says, you know, you got six months, so pack up your bags and hasta la vista, baby. I mean, they don't talk like that, but basically that's what they're saying. They're, they don't have anything else. So then that fear really builds up in your mind and like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I have so much that I wanted to get done. I didn't get it done. And I don't know. And that I don't know is your fear. Your fear blocks you. Fear will always block you from healing. Guaranteed. There's no doubt about it, right? Yeah, you guys are all saying yes. So how to overcome fear is you take a step back and number one, you realize what you're grateful for. Okay, so I just a simple thing. I have two eyes. I have a nose. I have a mouth. I have ears. I'm grateful. I could hear, listen, watch. I have a head. There's some people who don't have faces because they've been blown off. I mean, you start thinking about crazy stuff like that, right? I mean, there's so many things. I have hands. I have, I, you know, I have little things like that. I just sit down and I'm just okay. I breathe and I say, I'm grateful for what I have right now in my body. Or I'm grateful that I could look out and I see this beautiful sunshine. You hear the birds singing, right? You hear them with me, right? Stuff like that, little, little stuff like that, right? I just get focused on the little stuff. And then I breathe and then I say it a million times because just because I'm grateful doesn't mean I do. Hey, Terry, Terry from uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. You know, I used to be there a long time ago many years ago thanks for being on here so then other than that I step back and I look to see what else I'm grateful for and then I say it a lot of times because here's the deal you have to say things and you have to hear it and it has to go through this process of going through your mind and believing it so that it goes into your heart because when you believe it in your heart there's something that shifts that changes and I talked about that a little bit yesterday I'm talking about it more today because it's such a huge issue so for example this hurricane is coming down the pipe here everybody's asking and worried you know am I gonna be okay I'm gonna be okay and I'm like yeah <laughs> you know, in a house you got water we're good to go you know so if I don't end up with electricity or whatever for a few days I have plan B which is to go down to the other side of Florida and call up my friends and say, hey, I'm coming over. I know you got internet. I'm gonna, I have a seven day challenge. I, I gotta be on it, so can I come over? <laughs> so I have plan B, plan C, plan D. There are friends who are taking on a plane and going. So in other words, you always have options. 
always, always have options. The challenge that I hear you guys saying is, what is the best option? So Terry, for example, is on here. He's like a maverick in, in the supplement industry. He had a little, I'm giving you a shout out, Terry, because <laughs> I remember going to your health food store years and years. You don't know me, but I used to go to your classes. I used to go to your shop in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And that was back in the day when supplements were just kind of like getting on board with the, with the whole industry. And I remember sending people from my clinic over there and I really believed it. There were options, but people didn't know what their options were right so yeah and let us says, hey it's always nice to have a backup plan exactly so number one you're going to do what take a step back number two you're going to assess what you're grateful for right number three and here's the key remember I'm into threes right the third part of this is get your plan going what is your game plan to make the change so that you feel safe again that's huge feeling safe is huge when this whole hurricane thing is got everybody's not feeling safe they're afraid they're gonna lose their home their car their work is going to go down for a few days they don't know what they're going to do about that how they're going to get around right that fear is what's causing the problem but if you take a step back hey michelle glad to have you on um i'm enjoying the almond butter thank you so much he sent me a beautiful big jar of organic almond butter oh it's such a treat <laughs> thank you so much and so you take a step back and, and you make your game plan of what are you going to do to make the change so you feel safe. This is especially true for women. Um, women, we, t we need that security. We need to feel good about our day-to-day -day health, our lives, our, our business, our family, everything, right? That, that's a big part of who we are. Guys too, but guys tend to be like, okay, if I don't feel safe, I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to conquer it and I'm going to go, 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 which is how I love guys and working with guys to um, move things forward because they're much more aggressive, much more, I'm going to conquer that mountain, right? <laughs> Women, on the other hand, we like to feel more safe. So today your homework is, what is the game plan for you that you're going to feel good about yourself? And that could be something so simple as, you know what? I am going to go get myself some water and put some lemon in it and start squeezing my liver. <laughs> so not literally, but you know what I mean? You're going to do something for your liver. You're going to do something for your colon. You're going to do something to make yourself feel better. If you don't live in Florida, you're going to go head out and, and go for a walk today. You're going to deep breathe and, and be outside in nature. You know, whatever it takes, you have to have a game plan. That game plan will make you feel absolutely fantastic because you know that you have something that you're going to do. So this week, or let's start over today. Today, what is your game plan? Just pick one thing that's going to be your game plan for today that's going to make you feel better. And I'm telling you, as soon as you do that, bam, it's going to empower you because you're going to be like, all right, I am going to do this one thing because Judy said it's going to help. <laughs> You'll hear my voice in your head. Believe me, everybody tells me that. They're like, I heard your voice in my head. Good. That's what we're here for, to encourage each other. Okay, I'm the voice of encouragement. So in your game plan today, and it's early today, right? It's 8, 8 in the morning. Think about what you're going to do. Are you going to go get some lemons? Are you going to go for a walk today? Are you going to do um, planning to make sure that you're eating well? Are you, what is it? Just one thing. Okay. And I would love to hear it. Write it down below and I would love to hear what it is. I mean, you guys are saying, yeah, it's great to have a game plan. No, sit, write it down. Writing it down does something to make that shift for you, right? Okay, now I'm going to give you another option, which I know I've been telling you about, but I want to invite you again because it's now open, the seven-day challenge. Seven days is a great time to take your Take your game plan to a level where you're going to have me walking you through a whole cancer cleanse challenge. And it's very easy. I made it just foundationally easy so that each day we're going to do one thing together. All right, Linda wrote it down. Yes, Linda says she's going to do yoga and sauna. Linda's going to do two things. Awesome. I love it. Yoga and sauna. Very good. Um, so seven day challenge is coming up. It is now open for registration. Today it is still 1995 seven days you can't beat that but tonight at five o'clock i'm changing the price <laughs> it's going up because i'm trying to get you guys to get motivated to do it so it's not going to go up by much but just a little bit just to get you motivated get in there and do it right tanisha where were you yesterday my friend i was looking for you <laughs> i had a great video for you get on there and watch it and watch this one again 
All right, so if the, the registration is open, I'll have the link on here for you guys. So just hop on over. Uh, so far we have a few people signed up. I'm excited. Um, hopefully we'll get a whole lot more. And then registration closes Friday. It's done. It's like no more because I'm not repeating this till 2017. And so I'd love to have you guys on there. It's just a game plan. It's just a game plan working with me. We'll have a lot of fun. You know we have fun. I'll do videos like this. We'll talk about what you could do each day. We're going to do it together. I'm actually going to take my dry skin brush. We're going to dry skin brush together <laughs> every day. 8 o'clock in the morning. And then we'll do it again later in the day. So hop on board. 1995. It's all cool. And then and then get on it and do it. So there'll be downloads. I have shopping lists. I have um, a resource list where you get everything. And just made it as simple as possible, comprehensive as possible, so you know what to do, right? Share this video, my friend. I'm going to now go finish the project, make sure that it's all ready for you guys and ready to rock and roll. We have a private Facebook group that um, is just for us, where everything will be. So it's super easy. I'll have it just all there for you, easy, and I'm going to support you and guide you every step of the way. You guys know I'm going to be here. So rest of the week i'll have videos for you i'm going to do another one for you this afternoon i'll let you know about this matthew hurricane what's going on and then uh by friday though i'll be stopping the videos because i'll be focused on the folks that are in the seven day challenge right cindy glad to have you on but i'm now leaving <laughs> i'm gonna check out because i have work to do and i'm gonna <laughs> i know you're here you're gonna watch the beginning of the video now okay guys i love you i love each and every one of you I'll share the video. Please hop on the seven day challenge for your game plan. And remember the three things I talked about today to overcome your fear so that you can make sure that you are on the healing process. That's the bottom line, right? Okay, guys, love you. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.